Welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking with Inessa. I am Inessa. Today I'm going to show you how to make crispy panko chicken cutlets. We're going to start with three cutlets. I'm going to pound them to about in half an inch pieces. Now I'm gonna make two trays out of foil. I like it, make it easier to clean afterward. We're gonna use one of them for flour mixture, the other one for panko. Now I'm going to use three to four tablespoons of flour. If you want to make it gluten-free, use gluten-free flour. I'm going to put salt, pepper, and any, any seasoning that you like to put in. Now I'm going to dip my chicken cutlets in a flour mixture. Make sure that they're fully coated all the way around and continue with all of them. Now I'm going to break one egg and about half a tablespoon of water and mix it. In the second tray, I'm going to pour panko breadcrumbs. You can use either regular ones or gluten-free, whichever ones you prefer. I'm going to dip my cutlets in the egg wash. Make sure that they're really fully dipped and then put them in the panko. Now we're going to tip them in the breadcrumbs. I find it a lot easier if you push on them, then you have more breadcrumbs on the top of the chicken cutlets. And we're gonna continue with the rest of them the same way, and then put them in the refrigerator for about an hour and a half. After you keep them in the refrigerator for about an hour, hour and a half, if you don't wanna fry them right away, you can store them in the freezer for about a month and a half in a plastic bag with the parchment paper in between. Now I'm going to fry my cutlets. I'm going to start with the grapeseed oil, test the oil to see if it's hot enough and fry it in the medium. If you want it, you can bake them at about 350 in the oven or you can air fry them, whichever way you prefer. We're gonna fry them about three to four minutes on each side till they get golden brown in a medium, medium high heat. 